Hey, your soul family. If you could see how I have my phone being held, you would laugh. I am literally MacGyvering it. I think of my old boss, Stu. He put everything together with uh, duct tape. If you couldn't do it with duct tape, then okay. But duct tape usually worked. <laughs> I had this little holder that I got from the dollar store in Menifee, California, and it was like a buck. And I'm, tr I'm trying to think of what it was for. It was literally like a little phone holder, but it was really small. But there was a thing that I, I unscrewed and I MacGyvered it. I screwed it to the back of um, a real camera tripod and it was so fantastic. It was, and it was held by, um, like you pulled it out on springs, but after a while it always breaks. And I should have bought 30 of them. Um, it's a dollar. I'm gonna have to have my girlfriend go get me and send it to me because it's the only thing, right now my phone is being held on my tripod with a rubber band and <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I'm just gonna get ready to go for a hike and I thought I'd ask for a card and I said, so what is the message that everybody needs to hear? What does my family need to hear? What is, um, the, what, what do you want to talk to us about today? I'm looking around here because I had to, everything's kicked off my table. Um, and the mess and the message came from my power animal cards, which, um, my animals are my, those are my best friends. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I call myself, I don't call myself this, but I, I am what I guess you would call a shaman because I work with animal messengers. Um, they were my best friends growing up. They were, uh, it was the first language I learned was the language of the animals. They spoke to me, I spoke to them. And so uh, anytime I see lizard, I already know it's about your dreams. Pay it, it, to me, when I see lizard, it's hold on to your dreams. They're sound and valid. You deserve to see them fulfilled. Um, but not necessarily the way you imagine, but the way spirit knows is in your highest good or your highest self knows is in your highest good. So at this time you see a lizard. This is actually a, a bearded dragon. My daughter, I think of my daughter when I look at this. And what's really interesting to me is it could be that the lizard is riding on a rock, but it also looks to me like it could be riding on a giant tortoise. So tortoise, uh, maybe it's slow. Maybe your dreams are coming slow towards you. Maybe it feels like it's taking forever for them to get to fr come to fruition. Yeah, um, this one is musing. It's also like in your, you know, it's a good idea to spend some time dreaming about what you want. What does it look like? Um, how, how best would you envision it? And don't water it down. You know, be, be outrageous. Be childish in the way you look at things. Like children don't have any rules. They don't have any expectations. So they don't have any limitations. So don't put any limits on, your, on what you see happening and how you see it happening. It isn't your job to try and figure out how this comes about. It's spirit's job. All, it, all your job is is to figure out what it is that you want. What are your dreams, right? Don't discard your dreams because other people think that they're foolish. Don't discard your dreams because other people think that that, that can't happen. Um, don't discard your dreams because you have a limitation on yourself. Go back to when uh, I was thinking, uh, I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was saying, remember in junior high school or high school or college or university, and then you see an older person um, in a movie. I've seen this in movies when they look back and they said, wow, remember then when we had no limitations, we thought we could do anything. We, we could be anything. You can, and it doesn't matter how old you are. You can start now. Go back and get your dreams, grab your dreams, make your dreams come true. I wanted a little van. I wanted a school bus. I wanted to turn it into a little, little traveling home. And I did. It took me years and spirit said, why are you delaying doing this? I have a dream again right now that I want to go up the coast of California and I need tires. And uh, I know I, I'm hearing spirit in the back of my mind right now or my higher self saying, get your freaking tires. You want to go, right? My, it's just that my tires are old and they might crack. So um, and maybe I need a tune up. And so it's always like we always have a delay. So then maybe break it down into small steps. What do you need to do? Well, first I need to get the tires. Right. So I have seen about asked about the tires and how much would they cost? And uh, and maybe I could just save up and work towards that. Right. <laughs> and then I know I have a mechanic and then that's the next step, you know, and in all truth, it, the thing runs great. It's a it's a turbo diesel and it runs fantastic. It probably just needs its oil change or maybe not even that. <laughs> so basically stop procrastinating. Right. So here they're also telling you pay attention to your dreams. My dreams have been very bizarre. I have once again been watching my tw um, my twin's life through my dreams. And it's not something I choose to do. It just happens. It's probably happening because he's thinking about me. 
um, and I'm watching things happen and I'm, and, and I'm seeing people in his life that were like people in my life. And I'm like, dude, you need to get rid of that guy. That guy's got to go. He's not your friend, right? Why are you hanging out with him? He's a friend of me. Now it could be a female. Um, and I just got a sad face. Somebody sent me tears. Yeah, it makes, it hurts my heart. They hurt you. You constantly feel bad. Then, then why are you with that? Why are you allowing that energy around you? Pay attention. So it's, it's to me as well. Don't allow, once you figured something out, don't allow that back into your life. You know, that that's a dream crusher. That's a dream eater. That person steps all over my dreams or that person, whatever. Maybe they just make you feel bad. Anyway, um, right now, spirit saying, when we're in a place of dream uh, and you don't want to stay in your dreams, right? Dreams are great, but you got to pull them down into reality and, and make them and make something of them. Or maybe just spend some time, Spirit says, today, daydreaming, and, and, and see what comes to your mind. Don't put boundaries on it. That's the big thing that, I, that I'm getting is don't put boundaries on what might come uh, into, your eye, into your mind. Like right now, I'm creating something with my girlfriend, Serenity. And there are certain things that we can do right now. There are certain things that we don't know how that will happen. But I keep saying, don't go past that. Don't go past the part what, about what we are creating. It's like a dream board. I have a dream board. Can you see it behind me? That's my dream board. Play more is the first thing I saw when I looked at it. <laughs> so I'm going to go on my hike, right? Um, signed, sealed, and delivered. We will bring it to you. Whatever you need, we, we'll, we'll come to you. So also ask for assistance, right? And, and making your dreams come to What is it that you would need? What do you require? I have a friend that wants to come out to visit from Wisconsin and, and he, he fixed up a, a um, it's, a, it's like a traveling home type thing and he knows how to do all this stuff and he wants to come January, February and I said, God, that's so far away, but now it's getting closer and he says, I'll help you do that and I'm like, oh my God, if he was here and he could check that out, I could go on my trip right now, right? So I've said before in the past when I was uh, creating my little trailer, I said, God, I need a carpenter. I need a carpenter and I literally met a guy the next day. He liked me. And there was a little, but he was driving by and I stopped him and I said, Hey, can you do blah, blah, blah? And he goes, sure. And I don't know if he just thought I was flirting with him. I wasn't. I literally was looking for somebody who could do that. And I did pay him, but, and we got the job done. I got what I needed done. And then when he realized that's all it was going to be, he was gone, but that's fine. That's all I needed. Right? So ask for what you need. I need somebody that'll, um, tune up. So maybe somebody has got some used tires. Do you guys have used tires? Anybody in my area? Cause I don't need brand new tires. Actually, I'm going to call them because they said, they asked me, they said, well, this is how much it would cost for brand new tires, but we could get you gently used ones. And it's not like a car that I drive every day, right? It sits in my driveway almost all the time. So maybe that's what I got to do. Maybe that's what they're telling me. Get on it, get on it, right? Ask for it. Um, also things will pop into your mind. Don't, don't push them away. Um, in your dream time, you're being, you're maybe shown things that you need to be reminded of, or maybe an idea will come to you. Or, um, a lot of times dreams are you working through, um, difficulties in your life that are spirit. It's easier for spirit to work through, uh, and heal, help heal things in your dream time than in your physical reality. Maybe it'd be too overwhelming to deal with and, and deal with your own, um, everyday life. Now for me, uh, spirit literally can't do that with me because I have very lucid dreams. I'm, I'm awake in my dreams. I'm a dream walker and I get involved in my dreams. So if I'm getting a download or information from spirit, they have to give it to me while I'm awake. So I lay awake at night and I'm like, okay, here we go. Something's happening. Right. Or I will, um, hold something. I'll see something and I'll look at it. Like I talked about this the other day, I was looking at the symbol of the three interlocking circles and I was staring at it and for a really long time. And I knew Either I need this, or this is telling me something, or I need to get this. And generally, when I stare at something that's for sale for quite a while, and I'm like, well, what would I ever use that for? It doesn't matter. Get it. If it's cheap, get it. And then inv inevitably, invariably, a few days later, I need that exact thing. So what was happening the other day that I was staring at, it was kind of like a daydream. I was awake, and I was staring at this, and I thought, what is this to me? I'm Celtic, and it's the three interlocking hearts. Um, or hearts. That's interesting. Three interlocking hearts. I'll have to think about that. There's a message in that. There's always a message for me. Um, but, it, but what it was, I went to sleep last night and I saw that symbol floating on my third eye and, uh, there was a lot going on in my dream and I, and I woke up and I researched the things that I saw and it was literally about 11, 11 and the dream happened on 11, 11. And I said, I want to go to bed early because I, I feel like I'm going to get a download or I'm going to, I, I, I want to, that's my intention is to 
to, to get a download, to speak. And my little cat Merlin, he kept running around the house, keeping me awake. And I said, dude, I, I want to go to sleep early because I want to be in this dream time on 11.11 so that I can connect. But he kept me up till 11.11. There was a reason he did that. And then I went to sleep and my dream actually came in the late morning, or early morning, you know, in the, in, past the, in the middle of the night. But it was about the image that I saw. I was staring at that for a very long time and information was being imparted to my third eye in regards to that. I'm Celtic. So the three interlocking um, circles, or they looked like leaves. To me, they looked like, and they looked like barbed leaves. So to me, it had to do, um, I'm a dream analyst. So it had to do with these three interlocking leaves the fact that there were barbs, there was a message to that, and, and I was bleeding from my third eye. So there, all this information was being imparted. I know what it meant uh, afterwards. So pay very close attention to your dreams. You're getting information. Sometimes you're not going to understand your dreams when you wake up, but you don't have to. Your subconscious mind has filed it. Sometimes you don't remember your dreams, but that's okay because your subconscious mind has filed it. And later you will have the same, the message come up in the form of an epiphany. And you will think, or or like that deja vu feeling. I thought about this before. I've seen this before. Yeah, in your dreams. It all happens in your dreams. So, because there's no boundary in your dream time between you and the spirit world, you and your highest self, right? There's, it's a place where you can experience anything and everything. You fly in your dreams. You can travel to different countries. I travel back and forward in time. I travel into space. There's all kinds of places I go. So it's a window to the to to an altered reality. There's and at any given time, there's several different paths that we can take. There's different different realities available to us. Which do you choose? Which resonates with you? Right. Allow your dreams to guide you. There's ancient knowledge being delivered. I'm holding on to this caduceus, this healing energy. So this might be a symbol that somebody. Um, I'm a healer, but maybe you need to take a look at this. The eagle is great spirit, right? That's Father Sky, great spirit. And the two interlocking um, serpents, serpent is, um, snake is healing transformation. Um, so there's a primal energy that comes out in your dreams and uh, it's, 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 it's surreal. And you are being guided and you are protected. Now, if you're concerned with that, before you go to sleep, ask Archangel Michael to protect you in your dream time. So that no, so because I often shoot right out into a different existence, right? A different um, place. And there's a lot of entities and energies moving around. Um, I never feel that I'm not protected. I'm absolutely protected. But if some feel nervous, because sometimes people say, uh, um, like my girlfriend Serenity said, I had bad dreams last night, but I'm a dream analyst. And I, and I said, well, what, did the, what were the dreams? What did they show you? And a lot of times they're, they're just telling you something symbolic and they're not as scary once you wake up. I've been in dreams and been afraid in my dream time. I've been very upset. And, and in my, even though I am a dream analyst and I do know what that means, and I do know that there's symbolic and there's prophetic and there's working dreams, right? But in my dream space, if I'm, obviously I wasn't dream walking at that, at that place of, uh, I was, I wasn't in that place of detachment. I was in it. But even in that state, I was like, it's okay. It's okay. Because I, I know you're feeling nervous right now, but when we wake up, we'll figure this out, right? Because it's not really what you think it is. Um, so There's a part of the story I tried to hide in the glory. Sometimes I feel like an accident people pa look at when they're passing. I'm constantly trying to fight something my eyes can't see. It feels like dreaming, doesn't it? So this may be, um, that, that's, um, either past life or early childhood trauma coming up and, and, and telling you a lie, basically, right? Sometimes I feel like I'm an accident. People are looking at when they're passing. That's not true, right? So, um, also, also, I, I carved something in the stone um, on the cliff in Carlsbad, California years ago before I went on my massive awakening fi a journey um, after my mother died. Destiny, dreams to reality. You can make your dreams a reality. It doesn't have to be something that's just carved in stone. You can bring it to life, nurture them. So I think that's the message. I want to give us a, a positive affirmation so, uh, message as well to go off with. So correct. this is personal power. I love this deck. It comes in a really cool case too. I was gifted this. Look inside. Like, doesn't it look like it's like um, Cinderella. 
mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most amazing of all? I am. You are very powerful, provided you know how powerful you are, right? Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I am very powerful. I am very powerful. You're going to look in the mirror and you're going to tell yourself this, okay? Correct for neutrality. Whatever our collective message is for the day. We've got several, but I'm taking the top one. I speak highly of myself. I am safe. I am lovable. I am smart. I am unique. I am beautiful. I am free. I am worthy. <laughs> That's an awesome one. That hits a lot of things for a lot of people. Thank you for that one, Spirit. All right, you guys. I love you. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Peace.